Hey everyone, so on this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, we're going to be talking about this, the GTEC UV curing box. So, let's dive into it. So as a lot of you know in the past, I did a review on the GTEC wash and cure station, but GTEC asked me if I'd be interested in trying out their curing station as well. So I said, sure. My thought process was having an all-in-one machine is nice if you don't do a lot of printing, but it can get a little bit frustrating having to switch back and forth between modes. So I figured, you know what? Having a dedicated washing machine and having a dedicated curing machine wasn't a bad idea. So let's talk about the product, the pros, the cons, and how well it works. So first things first, this item comes as a kit. It is a flat pack, which is why the box it comes in is so tiny, which is nice because that keeps the shipping costs down. Now, when it came to the actual assembly of this, it was not terribly difficult, but I did run into a couple of minor challenges. To GTEx credit, they did include extra hardware, which was nice because I did run into a bolt that did not have the correct threads inside of it. I think it was a error on the manufacturer's part. And they also include some extra silicone o-rings that are used to hold the side panels on. Overall though, the assembly of this went pretty well. The other comment I do have is the fact that the included screwdriver was not the right size for all the fasteners. Thankfully I had a spare Phillips lying around, but that was slightly frustrating. The construction of this is, it appears to be white acrylic, and the inside is pretty simple. It's just all white to allow for reflectivity. There's a simple LED strip in the back and a turntable here at the bottom. Now to control it, it's actually pretty clever. GTEC uses a tiny little timer unit here, which obviously is not activated, but you can adjust the time in 30 second increments up or down. And personally, I like this over having the original knob set up that the wash and cure station has, as it's very quickly to go, easy, quick and easy to go, boom, 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 start and go. Now one other thing that's very nice about this is the fact that there is a safety switch here that prevents the box from operating if the door is down. Now strictly for the purposes of showing it in action, I'm going to run it with the door open, but I'm not saying that you should do this under normal circumstances. So as you can see, the turntable on the bottom spins and the LEDs are lighting up. Now if I let my finger off the switch, it will pause the timer and nothing will happen until the door is closed or the switch is activated. And then it turns itself back on again. Now one thing I did notice is at the top here, there is an ever so slight gap. That has not proven to be problematic. As a normal operations, I am not standing directly above the box and looking into it, but it is something to keep in mind. Oh, you'll also notice the five second countdown click, which is nice. So GTEC has recently come out with a larger version of this as well, if you need to do bigger prints. I will say, I think this size works pretty good for me as most of the resin printing oops, that I do is not very large. For size, here's a 16 ounce container of rubbing alcohol, and that just about fits in there. So overall, I have to say that if you want a cheap curing station with a turntable mechanism, this is perfect. There is that slight light leak at the top. If you really want to, you could probably take a piece of masking tape and just make a little um, lip either on the inside or on the top. That's a personal thing. I do hope GTEC fixes that. And it would be nice if maybe there was just a simple magnet mechanism, but this is the 3D printing community. We seem to design our own stuff anyways. I don't see why somebody couldn't come up with that in 10 or 15 minutes and make that publicly available. Heck, I might even do something like that if I really get the itch to do it. So hope you guys found this review useful. If you're interested in purchasing one, I will have an affiliate link down below. I will see you here next time on Make It With Calvin.